I'll let the marble cool just a little bit and punty this side that looks perfect to me. So I think I'll just get the other side done and it'll be good. Okay. And again, I'm careful not to use too much heat because then it'll have a hard time coming off. Like I think this one will have a hard time coming off. I had to put a little extra heat on it to pick it up. So I have to pull this off. Again, it's nice to use white because white melts so quick. For someone who's not used to soft glass, white is a nightmare because it, it just seems to fall apart right in front of your eyes. But if you're doing something quick and you're accustomed to it, you can work it quicker. I'll use, for a lot of marbles that are complex colors, I'll put a white core in there because it's compatible. But if the outside colors are dark, it takes a long time to heat it to do what I'm doing with this one. But if the core is white, then it tends to heat through a lot easier. Okay. Oh man, I lost it again. I see though where I touched it. It's right here. I can see the mark. Okay. So that's, that whole thing is round now. So this is my ring. I'll keep the marble back here kind of in the flame, not full flame, but enough to keep it warm. And then this graphite ring, which I sent you the link for, this is a, I think a up to one inch, but it'll hold bigger marbles. I've, I've, I've put bigger marbles on here and it won't go any smaller than about one half inch. Now I'm just going to tap it and it falls down and then I can see the little mark that it left on here. So I'll melt that in and I'm looking at the right light and that, that already did it because it's white glass. And then I'll heat the bottom so that it, there's not a big temp temperature differential. And then that looks good. So I just kind of spin the marble around, make sure it looks like it's perfectly round. I'm not messing anything. It looks like I'm not. And then I take it and I throw it in the kiln. So uh, in this particular case, I'm just going to put it down here and it's going to probably crack. But anyway, that's, that's how I do it.